flag. This is the Norwegian flag, the flag of Norway here. And one Norwegian soldier is interned here. There were three Norwegian casualties in the Korean War. Now, Norway did not send combat soldiers. One of the casualties is unknown. One was a friendly fire casualty, and the other uh, Norwegian soldier died in a car wreck. But Norway sent a medical team. They sent a mobile army surgical hospital, a MASH hospital. And if you got treated by the Norwegians, you had a 95% chance to survive, and you also had an 80% chance of returning to active duty and returning to battle. So they had a very efficient hospital. They were under the command of Colonel Hermann Romstad. That was the commander's name. And many Norwegians volunteered for a second tour of duty. You only had to be there for one year, but many Norwegians volunteered for a second tour of duty. Also, an American dentist operated the dental clinic at the base at first, first time. But eventually they got a Norwegian dentist there and a Norwegian dentist took over the, the dental duties. Also, the Americans supplied the Norwegians the majority of the equipment. That's why the Norwegians came to Tokyo, Japan first, and the Americans supplied them their equipment, and then the Norwegians then went to Korea. So they were in Japan for one month, learning how to use the American equipment, making sure there were no problems there. So, and just if anybody's any confusion, this is how uh, the Korean signal for no. So, uh, thank you very much for listening, and bye-bye. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.